take less of the acuity until they can get a handle on it and deal with that before they start looking at building and adding a, eight, a 12 to 18 bed facility with uh, children that are going to have even more problems. State Senator Regina Birdsell says she is concerned about the safety of the kids and of the community as the issues at Hampstead Psychiatric Hospital continue and the new youth detention center is set to open on the grounds next year. I, I think between the two, it's going to be, it's going to tax um, our our town. And I, I think I wish more time had been taken into looking at facilities that would um, could better house these kids. That was a decision that was foisted on us without any say, and that's been really troubling to the residents. Lori Warnock is chair of the town select board, and even without another facility operational yet, she says they are already worried about unprecedented demands on first responders. The fire chief telling News 9 investigates the facility is on track to more than double the calls for EMS service, up from 45 in 2022 to 100. And when we have to spend a half an hour 45 minutes on scene for a call, it does take away from our ability to serve the rest of the community. So top state officials have visited the facility like the child advocate. Those visits and meetings continue with union officials, executive counselor Janet Stevens, the CEO and first responders all happening tomorrow. In the studio, Marissa Tansino, WMUR News 9.